All right, guys, so a new Doom game has been announced or leaked or whatever you want to call it, and it's called Doom Dark Ages. And apparently this game has been in development for the past four years, which I find really crazy. That must mean that id Software, which is the company that develops the Doom games, have been working on this game since the Ancient Gods Part 2 came out, which is just insane to me that they can make games that are this complex and then work on multiple games at the same time. And this isn't some kind of rumor or something like this is actually confirmed we don't really have a release date for the game yet, but it is being worked on and is going to be finished sometime soon. I remember a while ago, there was a leak. Uh, I think it was like some type of Bethesda, like tax documents or something. And on it, it had some of the names of the different projects that we're working on. And one of those names was Doom Year Zero. So I'm pretty sure that that was the same game that this one is. Year Zero and the Dark Ages you know, we kind of get like the same kind of like prequel type of vibe from it. And this game is supposed to take place in medieval times as well, which I just find so sick. Like imagine the Doom Slayer just running around with a great sword or some other kind of medieval weapons or, or something like that. But I'm not 100% sure how that could really work since, you know, guns didn't really exist back then. Maybe he'll have some kind of crossbow. But when Hugo Martin, who is the guy who's pretty much the mastermind of the Doom games, was asked about what the next Doom game was going to be. He described Doom Eternal as being more like driving a really nice sports car, like a Ferrari or something like that. But this new Doom game is going to be like driving a monster truck. So it's going to be a, a lot slower, more weighty experience from what Hugo Martin and a lot of the other people who are working on the game have been describing, which I kind of understand wanting to kind of slow down the game a little bit because watching gameplay of Doom Eternal, especially from somebody who knows what they're doing, which is not me, by the way, this is my gameplay in the back. I haven't played this game in maybe three and or four months, so I was super Super rusty but from somebody who's not me who actually like knows what they're doing it is not watched it just looks so intimidating and it just looks like there's seven million things going on at once and i've tried you don't even know how many times to get my friend to download and play this game he's played doom 2016 and thinks that's a great game but he just won't play doom eternal because he says it looks like some type of adhd parkinson's nightmare you just have so much shit going on at the same time and one thing i found out from talking to a bunch of different people is that a lot of people feel the same way about doom eternal being a game that's kind of hard to get into and that has a bunch of different things going on and can be a little bit overwhelming so maybe a slower game where you have less things going on but all of those things that are going on are super weighty and have a lot of impact and importance is maybe the right way to go with the next game you can't really make it any more complicated at least i don't think you can because after that it would just kind of become a mess to new players so i think that the approach that they're taking with this next game is a really good decision now like i said it takes place in the dark ages so like medieval times meaning that it's going to be set between doom 64 and doom 2016 so this is going to be a prequel to doom 2016 which means that i don't think the doom guy will have gotten his superpowers yet so maybe he'll just be some normal dude i, I don't 100 know the timeline and the story it just all seems really convoluted to me i kind of just play the game i don't really worry about the lore and the timelines and shit but i think that that means that the doom guy won't have any of his superpowers that he got from the divinity machine because that wouldn't have happened yet so if that's the case you guys can correct me in the comments if i'm just completely tripping here that would mean that we'll get to see a doom guy without his powers and kind of see how powerful he is without all of his super strength and agility and, and durability and stuff and we'll just get this super strong like warrior and i find that something to definitely look forward to i know a lot of people are disappointed after hearing this won't be a sequel to doom eternal but like a prequel where he probably won't have his powers yet but i think it's a really good idea it's a good way to like switch it up and i still think the whole power fantasy will be there another reason that i think it's a really good idea that they're taking the approach of slowing the game down a bit instead of just like adding more and more different things things on top of what they already have is because doom eternal has such a high skill ceiling and the game has been out for so long that so many people are just so ridiculously goaded at this game that it's just insane so if this new game doom dark ages were to have a lot of the same stuff that's in doom eternal like the meat hook or the precision bolt and all these things that people have already spent thousands of hours mastering and playing already then people are just going to jump into this next game and already just be masters at it and there's not really going to be much learning to do all they'll have to do is just learn maybe the couple new weapons or like attachments that they added and that's about it it'll basically just be a doom dlc instead of a new game and if anything since everybody's already mastered the gameplay since it's the same gameplay as the last game just with some other shit added to it people will just go immediately to try 
trying to break the game and find imperfections in it and find like the most meta strategy to destroy everything instead of spending a few months actually learning the game and figuring it out and i think that the people at id software kind of know this that people have mastered the system that they came up with so ridiculously much that they really can't use it again because then everybody would just start the game as a master that was a master in the old game so they're just trying to make a completely new system instead which is good because like you know if i want more doom eternal i'll just play the dlcs or just like find a, a campaign mod or something but i kind of more want a completely new game or like new experience that i suck at at first you know instead of just being a master at it immediately so it's kind of a more positive way to look at them changing the whole gameplay and doom formula and stuff i'm kind of hoping there's going to be melee weapons too well there would kind of have to be melee weapons i guess if it takes place in the dark ages or maybe doom guy has like some futuristic weapons that are way more advanced for the time which is likely but i'm hoping we see like some great swords some axes you know maybe like a bow or something and you can just run around on a rampage just destroying demons with swords and melee weapons because i haven't really played many like first person games that really utilized melee weapons like i've played shooters that have melee weapons in them but i've never actually like played a melee weapon focused first person shooter i'm really hoping that this new game kind of leans into that a little bit more because that's not something that i've really seen that often you know maybe it is common and i'm just like living under a rock or i'm just like tripping or something but i feel like this would be one of the first like games to really just go all the way with like fps melee if they decided to do that and maybe you can just like dash around and, like teleport around the map and like slice people and, and and hack at them with axes and and throw the axes and swords i don't know my imagination is just going a little bit wild here one thing that i was scared of is this being an xbox exclusive because microsoft owns bethesda and id software and i don't have an xbox so i want to be able to play it and then i would have to like buy one but I, i'm not buying an xbox i would i would rather like like actually hang myself but it's not we're gonna get this on pc ps5 and xbox so i definitely will be playing this and making videos about it when it comes out this makes me really want to go play doom eternal now because even though this new game is going to be nothing like the old game and hopefully none of anybody's skill from doom eternal will kind of transfer over i still want to get goaded at doom eternal in like kind of like preparation for this new game when it gets closer to coming out and i was goaded dude i be ultra nightmare i be ultra nightmare on the main campaign in both the dlcs the only thing that i didn't do was the master levels because like i couldn't beat them on nightmare they're too hard but i'm telling you i, I used to be so good at this game i'm just so watched because i haven't played it in like three or, or, or like four months or something like that but yeah um that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching the first video on the gooby channel uh, i'm gonna post more like shorter videos like this here so you know they don't clog up the main channel i'll try to see if i can post here maybe like every day or every other day at least a couple times per week you know kind of like touch base with you guys tell you guys about like some things that i've been interested in lately and i've been you know keeping an eye on and then keep the longer videos for the other zero channel so yeah have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys real soon